grumpy, you're gonna be on YouTube. Everybody smile and wave. Come on. Say Merry Christmas. All right. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Claudia Simpson Jones, for those of you. Now, most of you are here. I see some faces, though. We do have some guests. Uh, from other areas, so we're glad to have you with us tonight. I just want to say a special welcome to everyone and uh, to tell you that when I was asked to write this show and put it together, I said to myself, oh, I don't know if this is going to work. I mean, the people you're going to see tonight, most of them have never been on stage before, and you know, well, how's the choir going to feel about doing something like this? Well, I was very pleasantly surprised and my expectations were more than met because I didn't have one single person who said they didn't want to do it. Uh, some people said they were had, they thought they'd been stretched <laughs> a little bit. And, and that's okay. But not one person said no, I, I don't want to do it. Everybody is here. So we have worked hard, we've had a lot of fun, and we hope you're going to enjoy it. We call it a christmas school because I couldn't think of what to name it. It's kind of like a cantata, it's a play, it's a musical, it's a nativity scene, it's, it's all of these things wrapped up. So we want you to sit back and enjoy it. If you, if you think something's funny, please laugh. You don't have to sit on your hands. If you like something, you may applaud. If you don't like it, it doesn't matter because this is opening and closing night. <laughs> So, let's get the show on, and I would like to ask you to please turn your cell phones off, and uh, no flash photography, because we do have our official photographer, Clay, here tonight, who's going to be videotaping this for us. Well, it's not videotaping it anymore, it's digitally yep. recording it, isn't it? Anyway, thank you. and you shall hear the wonderful tale of a family so dear. A night before Christmas, related in song, with Scrooge and the Nutcracker strangely gone wrong. There will be gifts to exchange and good times to recall, and a scene of the Christ child, the best gift of all. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the party, the singing was festive, the laughing was hearty, the ladies were dressed in their finest array to keep spirits high while the men were away. Yes, the men were all meeting. The pressure was mounting to finish the family farm's year-end accounting.
young cousins played on their horns in the loft. The moms heard their instruments playing so soft. Later on, there'd be gifts for the kids to undo, but right now, they'd sing out every carol they knew.
little bit more Christmassy.
indignantly <laughs> chose to ignore. <laughs> please, Mom, Claire pleaded above all the din. So reluctantly, Mom said, Oh, let them come in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
had going on. Meanwhile, in the house, Clara looked at her treasure, then pushed him away and exclaimed without measure, But he's so ugly. <laughs> I think I'll give him away. Nathaniel, do you want to trade?
party was o'er a few hours before light. The family thought back on the gifts of the night. To wandering strangers, they'd opened their door. Loved a present in spite of the face that it bore. <laughs> they had welcomed an uncle they wanted to shun. Then the uncle had reached out to welcome his son. But for all of the joys of the gifts of the season, one joyous thought brought them all back to reason. God so loved the world, both the big folk and the small, that he gave us the Christ child, the best gift of all. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn.
that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go down to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger.
shall he break, for the slave is our brother, and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy, in grateful chorus raise.